Now, back in Sevierville, Tennessee, which is home to Sevier County High School, which, by the way, is where I went to school, which, by the way, is home to the Sevier County High School Smoky Bear football team, who, by the way, are 10-0 as they head into the playoffs this weekend there in the great state of Tennessee, so good luck to my Bears. But if you knew that, you'd probably also know that if you're a Sevier County High School student, the letters ACS are bad. It means you're going to the Alternative Center for Students. It's for all the kids that get in trouble, for all the bad kids. I don't know what the... S stands for because I never went to the ACS as you'd expect. But you go over to Laramie, Wyoming, and ACS is nothing but good, baby. Look at Austin Carter Samuels, the true freshman quarterback that's leading the charge for the Pokes this year. He's got the guys believing they're on the high plains of Laramie, Wyoming. Well, not just believing in him, but believing in first-year head coach Dave Christensen and his system. And, of course, that bounty hunter defense that always stirs things up. Brian Hendricks and Gabe Napton are two linebackers flying around, and they are in the top five in the nation when it comes to tackles. Now, they sit back there and wait on BYU coming to 7,220 feet. BYU had last weekend off to stew and chew on that 38-7 loss to TCU the weekend before. How will they respond? They're 8-3 all time since joining the Mountain West Conference coming off of a bye week. They've won eight of the last nine games against these Wyoming Cowboys, including a 44-0 beatdown in Provo, Utah last year. So will they be ready to go? The Polk fans sure will be making some noise. The weather's going to be good. We'll have Hall of Famer Andrea Lloyd down on the sidelines. The basketball great from the WNBA. Hall of Famer, new Hall of Famer, Todd Christensen, who was just inducted into the Utah Sports Hall of Fame last weekend. Congratulations to my broadcast partner. And you know what? Sevier County High School Sports Hall of Famer, James Bates. So we're going to have a Hall of Fame broadcast crew there for you on the mountain covering the game, and it should be a good one at 7,220 feet above sea level on Saturday. Make sure you check us out.